Greetings, citations, hello. So, I've got sort of a uh, waiting because I have BNFK in a League of Legends game. So, I thought while I was waiting for this, I would try to build this sort of Viking style house in Minecraft. Let me just zoom a bit out so it's better quality. You can see this sort of uh, Viking house, which is actually seen many places where I live. Uh, because I live in Denmark, and that's sort of the Viking place, place the Vikings ruled, and we, we still have a lot, have a lot of uh, these houses standing around, you can go and visit, and I thought it would be pretty fun to try and create one of those in Minecraft. So, and in my medieval build, I have created an extension, here, this landscape, I'm thinking of creating some more islands, let me go over here, show you, yeah, over here is the build and so I have made an extension to it over here and yeah so I'm gonna create this house over here somewhere I can always paste and copy it somewhere uh, but I was thinking here, it's, this is supposed to be a little bay, I may extend it a little bit because it's a little bit dirt when it's so small and I might remove this uh, pillar as well I was thinking of doing something with these pillars perhaps make one over here and up there instead because you know, it looks pretty dead, but it could look good. So here we gotta have a little loading dock or something. And then I'm thinking to take the landscape up a little bit and create some houses about over here. <coughs> so I perhaps create one where the door is facing this way. So let's start by doing that. So we will need some grass, that's for sure. Let me just check the picture again. We need some planks, some slabs, and some fence. And I'm thinking of using some. Let's see what sort of planks we have. I'm thinking either jungle or spruce. I think spruce we use a lot, so. Hmm. I'm kind of wanting the uh, Viking stuff over here to look different from the medieval build we have and steampunk stuff. So. Us. Also take some stairs, and perhaps we should take some, <coughs> just some wood. The jungle wood looks a little bit too damp, I think. So let's just use oak wood and some fence. Let's use the one oak. How about just spruce? Well, that look decent. And we we'll need some sort of stone. I'm thinking some mossy stone brick or some mossy stone. I don't see people use this very much, but yeah, and perhaps some wall as well. And perhaps a mixture of wall and mossy wall. So yeah, let's start off by finding out where the house is supposed to be. So I'm gonna make this side one, two, three, four. I'm gonna make this a pretty small house actually, with a gap of three or four. Let's make a five gap. And let's make it. Let's just say, set the time. One second, I have to set my chat on. Yeah, it's just because there's a lot of spam on this server. Chat settings, chat. Oh, here we are. <coughs> so this is five tall with a gap of five. Yes. And let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the seventh block, let's place three. Now let's go one further. Because. Hmm. No, one further. So we have a gap of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So a gap of eight and on the ninth block place a wood. And up four with that. No three, sorry, making some mistakes here. But I'm thinking to make the roof out of slabs because I saw this somewhere in YouTube as well. I think it was Green that showed me. Well it didn't show particularly me, but everyone basically. A little tutorial on that. And the door I suppose it should be here. Could use some clay, perhaps even. A little mixture. 
I like the green clay actually. Hmm. Oh, this goes together. Perhaps just this hardened clay. Yeah, I think that will look good. And the grass we're going to use at the end, so let's just take that out for now. So let's try and make a mixture. So this, let me just mark out the door first. I'm thinking to have a door right here. Just going to fill in the whole thing with hardened clay to start this. This will be taken up here. Now I want to figure out how far I want these to go. Hmm. Just about there, I think. Yeah, that's fine. And <coughs> then let's take some jungle with planks and uh, just place them randomly. And also some stairs. This is also something I saw from that build he did. There's a hardened clay on there, yeah. Mm, need something over here. Like that. Um, also variation. There we are. Mm. Perhaps just a stair somewhere here. Perhaps right there. That's fine for the wall. Now just place them randomly like I did. Or you can of course copy it block by block if you want to. Let's get a door here. Uh, which door would be best? Thinking this one. It's more Viking-ish. It's like completely uh, shut, nothing to look through. Alright, let's just do the same on the other side. I'm just gonna start by filling it all in because I find that easier. If you don't find it easier, just you know, don't do it. And another layer here. Then let's grab some stairs, place it in randomly. Like so. So. Yeah, and then the hot clay. Some right here. I want the hot clay to sort of be the dominant thing. Um, yeah, and you don't have to use jungle wood, of course. I know it's sort of a let's build, not a tutorial. I think I'm gonna like, uh, call it a let's build. Instead, yeah, so that's that's actually really fine. I like it. Uh, perhaps a bit more wood on the other side, though we don't want it to be symmetrical. Mm, it's on the other side. Hmm. You know what, blank over there. How about we remove that one and place one here instead? And Let's just put hot and clay there. That's decent, you know. I like it. I love it to bits. All right, and the roof is gonna be the difficult part, I think, because as you see in this picture, it's gonna go down here, and we're also gonna need the grass. But I think instead of filling it completely with grass, I'm gonna fill only some of it with grass, just randomly, you know. Hmm. And then the other side will need to go down. Bit two. So let's make a three gap, and on the fourth place, hmm, place four. Yeah, like so. That looks decent. And just do the same thing over here. Some stairs, some stuff here. Yeah and yeah. Yeah. I want the things to be kinda connected as you see. Perhaps there's a plank there instead. And we could put a stair here. Make that a plank. Make that a plank. That's decent actually. I like it. Like it, like it, like it. And I love it to bits. There. I don't know, a bit too connected perhaps? Oh, it doesn't have to be that tall actually. It isn't supposed to be. <clears throat> hmm. 
and a bit of hardwood for you there, there. Oh, my Legion of Legends game is ready. I might, I might just play the Legion of Legends game and then, uh, you know, cut it to here and uh, keep building. You know, but I may just have to like do this to choose. There we are. So, jungle. Fantastic. And how about we do the sides now? Let me check the sides in the picture. In the sides, you know, let's use some. We need an overhang. So, if I'm thinking, uh, let's start by doing the roof. Let's just do it like this. Down, down, and on, like so. Or perhaps just like that. I don't know, let's keep it like that for now. And let's do the same for a very simple overhang here. Oops, I have to ban a champion. I don't know what to ban, I'm sort of terrible at banning. Oh, well, let's ban set, of course. Set is very annoying. So down there, there, there. Bit of variation, I like it. There. Perhaps let's actually create another pillar here and go down a bit more, like so. That's that's actually good. That looks more like the other one. You know, it doesn't have to be exact copied on the other side. Well, that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. You won't really be able to see the difference because of the var variation in the walls, anyhow. So that's something I like to build with, but I don't build really very much with actually. See so that I copied it exactly, and you know it doesn't look the same anyhow. So you know. And here in the end, I made it a little thicker. You can of course just put a bit more in here to make it look more realistic. It's a roof. <clears throat> and basically, I'll just take it over here now. So let's hope I can finish the roof before the game starts. I think I can. Hmm. Let's take it over here. And for now it's identical. I want to add some slabs and some grass just randomly. And the roof is going to be pretty small, so it's probably you're probably not even going to be able to jump inside because we're going to need to add the grass and then add some slabs underneath those so it doesn't look burp. But you know, oh, I need to log in. I think I logged in. Yes, I did. Hmm. So there we are. Looks decent. For now at least. Let's add some here. Oh. And there. And go down. Down again. Finally down. And once more for a little overhang, let's go down. Same here, 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 here. Wait, just have to do that. There we are. That's looking good. Good, good. Good. Just like that. And you know, you could do another layer actually, if you would like to. I think I'll place the block inside there. Doesn't matter too much. Perhaps do like this actually. And then let's add some fences over here. Because in here is gonna be our little hay storage or something. I will need something to like block it off. Like that. Oopsie daisy. That's decent. And then we could add some fence here as well. Just going out like that. 
and this could of course go out here and there so it will connect with the fence it will connect with the fence oh it's not uh, hmm, not symmetric and whatever then just oh Age of Legends is loading mm -hmm. there we go that's a stair going in there that was actually decent let's keep that and let's move these for a little entrance here you can of course, course up that if you want to take that stair here for example and then we'll need to let me just set the time I really don't want to show the chat because uh, so much uh, spam all the time I think even if I show commands only the server chat spam will come up and stuff so this is what we have so far it's not done yet at all but let's just make the walls now Like so. And let's add some clay there and there. And there and there and there. And let's add some stair here. Stair there. We just uh, of course add slabs up here to like uh, cover up the nasty part there with the stair. So you don't have to worry about that really. So just stair there. Some more hardened clay. And some hardened clay there. I wanna get another stair in there. There we are. Decent, decent, decent. And for windows, let's do this. And we could, of course, add a window here. Upside downstairs, also an opportunity. And let's add it two over here. Oops, easy. There we are. Yes, yes. Uh, this is coming along nicely. I think even it'll look better in the normal texture pack. Oh, here's not. Uh, oh, there. There is supposed to be a window. But yeah, let's just uh, set up the floor. You know, this is also sort of a build that's possible in survival. You could, of course, just uh, uh, swap out the uh, clay for stone or another type of wood or cobblestone or whatnot. Racing site Asians, hello. And we are back. Um, so I thought a bit about the windows, and what I want to do for those is get some stained glass. And I'm thinking white stained glass would be decent. You could of course use trapdoors, but it wouldn't really synergize with the way I'm going to do this. You could of course use that, but to put that there. Whoops, sorry, up here, and then fence gate. Whoops, I have to put something here to put the fence gate down, like that. No, give us a little from the side. I can see that there's a window there, you know. You could, of course, do like, um, you know, this if you'd like to, but I think it's a bit too much detail. And then some grass, you know, it's not really very Viking ish, you know. So let's just do this for now. I like it. There we are. And, and some white stained glass. To remove that, so let's place the white stained glass first. I've seen this method on many builds uh, with the stair and the glass, looks very nice in my opinion. Hmm. Yes, yes. Hmm. I don't know really about this side here because it looks a bit dip, but mm, perhaps if we did remove these. And took this. Uh, that's not how I grab that. I thought I had a key to grabbing that. Oh well, I must have changed it or something. Um, but let's put it like this, so it doesn't look all dirt. And then take it out. Let me check the fence. How that looks. Oh, I need some fence. Spruce fence. No. Alright, well, how about if I take it up here? And then take the fence up here. Oops, sorry. There we are. 
perhaps it will look less dead. Can't be certain. Hmm. So it looks a bit dead. Well, perhaps I'll figure something out. Oh no. Perhaps just remove this part of the roof, actually. And I don't know what I have slapped there. And put some here. Still a bit too tall, in my opinion. But it's the only way we're going to be able to go in here. I don't know. Perhaps I'll figure something out. But here we're going to have a wall. I think would be nice. But I don't know if I want to do the mixture here. Uh, clay of hard and clay I used. Uh, which one is that? Hard and clay, there we go. Looks a bit like sandstone. You could also use sandstone if you live like in a sand biome and you're doing this in survival. Let's get some white stabilizer here as well. Hmm. And should we start by doing the roof here? So let me get some grass and these slabs, pretty much we're gonna need. So I was thinking perhaps do a little outline. Nah. See how the grass just there. It should go all the way in there. Could the dirt actually work? In some parts of the roof. You know, here out here it doesn't really matter. So let's put some grass here. Now and up here, yeah, this could work too. Hmm. Now let's keep it out here. I don't want it to look modern, so I might just mix it up a bit with the slabs and the grass. But uh, let's see what the time breaks. Hmm. Also here. I don't know if that one should be there or not, but uh, yeah. Let's look at, when, at it when we get so far. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. It's taking a while. I know this is uh, how it looks on the picture. Well, of course not. You can't make it exactly identical when it's Minecraft, but. Yeah, we can try our best at it. And we have some corner over here. Sadly, we can't see some of the dirt from uh, the sides, but you know, that's life. Perhaps we should like frame it off with uh, some slabs. I don't know. Let's look at that when we're done. You can of course do this however you like. It looks decent even without the grass. I'm just trying to get as close to the picture as I can. Because I've never really seen a uh, type of this house in Minecraft. Uh, modern builds I have seen. Yeah, I definitely have to do something with the... Um, wait, did I put it down here also at the end? No, I did not. I think I should. I know this this fence is not going to work. Uh, perhaps just two beams or something of uh, oak wood. Breaking some of the grass. Yeah, I hate building with fence posts. It gets so quick. Okay, and we'll have to have a door here somewhere. And let's get the slabs back here on. Put put some stairs there, for example, or something. Hmm. There we are. Decent and grass here. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. And let's work with the sides now, where the dirt is showing. It's not showing anywhere right here, actually. Surprising, I thought it would be showing. Mm. 
perhaps do a little bit uh, taller slabs somewhere for example right here and here it's like covered up with if you're standing over here or else you'll be able to see it decent decent and we could of course do this that looks nice actually Sorry if I'm lesping, I feel like I'm lesping very much. Hmm. Yep, decent. And then let's get some bone meal. I know this is going to take a while, but we want some very tall grass all over almost. Because uh, that's how it looks in these uh, structures. Um. Yes. And let's remove the flowers because we don't want those. They won't own the grass really. You could of course just take grass itself and place it. Um, and you can also just uh, don't do the grass on top if you're in survival mode because you know you need a lot of bone meal for it. You don't have to make it all tall grass like I'm doing, I really just want to make it uh, identical. To the realistic build of this, it's gonna look better with all these uh, this tall grass. I don't know why it uh, keeps breaking the grass instead of the you know, the flower when I'm clicking on them. It's pretty annoying. Mm. Just like that. Mostly the outer 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 part is important. You could add some what's it called? Ah. Coarse dirt, I think it's called, to add some more detail because it's like medieval and poor housing. You know? Like that. That's actually how they look. That's pretty, pretty identical. So let's grab some coarse dirt. Uh, coarse dirt here, yeah. I don't know if it looks like this in other texture packs. Uh, I think it does, but I'm not certain. But yeah, you can add some about up here if you're ever gonna look up here. If you're ever gonna show someone your version of the build. You know, you're gonna notice the distance and think, hey, okay, that was a nice piece of detail right there. And you can't bone meal that, sadly. So we'll just have to cover it up. Like so. Good enough. And I'm thinking of some more detail outside. But I don't really want to make more windows because, yeah. And over here, perhaps just take some, remove this and that, and take some wall. And let's make a mixture of this. I think I mentioned this before. Uh, we can do like that, 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 and over there, 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 there. Oops, too easy. Go down a bit there. Put one in there, some up there, some here. Let's just place that. You know, for a little connected farm. This is also something I saw on Green's video. The shape of the house is also something I noticed, which I want to. It kind of reminded me of these uh, type of Viking houses, and that's kind of what gave me the idea to do this. You know these little one spots. We don't want those, so let's remove that and make it like a two spot that we can deal with. There. What else? Let's remove that, perhaps like so. There. Let's make it a bit more mixed. I think this looks actually pretty decent, but I like to add a lot of these moss, this moss to my builds. So yeah, especially my medieval build. Builds. And I'm gonna skip it when I'm gonna make it into a farm. Let's just get some water here to make the ground look, get all watered up, and then later we'll add some seed. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, let's get some planks. You know what? Some brown wool. Or the entrance here, you know, the little pad there, and also one there. Let's get the door again. Let's make it over here. 
like that. And for the interior, now there's a pretty big interior thing. Yeah, by the way, let's get the slabs here to cover up the dirt. We'll need to do that. And we'll go slab. And P time day. I thought it was uh, night because it was uh, pretty dark. Let's cover that up. Okay. There's some more to cover up, but let's look at that a little later. Over here, we'll need to cover all this up. And then just place one here. If you want me to do an exact tutorial on this on this build, just uh, comment down below, and I'll take it into consideration. So yeah, I like the shape of the house. That's my, probably my favorite thing. I don't know what I want to do with the door. Probably just an identical door. I'm not, I don't think I want to do another type of door because it's pretty much the type of door you see in like these Viking villages. <coughs> So let's get a bed for starters. Ah, I think I have caps lock on. Place it over here in the corner. Why not? Uh, or perhaps hmm. should remove this window. I don't like to have windows uh, in my sleeping area. Hmm. Let's just keep it. And for the uh, let's take some cobblestone. Stairs and some. Oh, it's monster egg. Uh, there and there, and I think that should pretty much do it. So let's add it over in some corner. Maybe you know, we can add it here, and people won't really notice anyway. Anyway, there's one longer in, and let's do that. Oops, no. Let's do it this way. And over here, there's another one, over here, and then the slab up here, hmm, perhaps give it a little shape up here, one up, one out, one up, will that do? If you're in survival, you can of course just use the wall. That makes a very nice. Uh, what's this called? I don't know what they call it in English, but the uh, you know, thing that comes smoke out of. You can just do like this. That will create a pretty nice that thing. Anyway, <laughs> like this. Or, you know, you can make the shape whatever you want. You can just stop here, for example. It's also a decent one. You can also just do like that, or like that. If you are into simplifying things so yeah that's our furnace let's get some cobweb i don't know whatever you like to do i like to overdo it a bit uh you know with the cobweb just place a ton of it like that i kind of like that so uh, they got a little wind up in the north so i'm gonna do it very uh across so you know it looks like there's a lot of wind Oopsie daisy. And you could of course spawn spawn some pigs or some cows here. Let's get some hay. These look also very decent. Let's place that there, 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 and there, and there. So there we got a little hay bale. No uh and the things Northmen did was actually live in their houses with the animals. So, you know, you could uh, take that into consideration. That's kind of why I'm doing this a little extension to give it like a middle thing. Not living with them in the house, but, you know, close. Right beside the house. You could, of course, do like cut it over here with a wall and place the animals in here. Well, this looks pretty dope. Let's get some slabs, jungle wood slab, and let's just add that there. I know we can't cover this up sadly, but we can do this at least. You know what, I think I'm going to cut it over here, 
because it looks pretty dead with the roof being so long. So let's get a some wood and make a beam here and a beam here. No, a beam here and a beam here because you know symmetrical. And let's just make it hmm, what could we do here? Let me think of something. The stairs. Could do something like this. Just with you know, because the the animals they don't have to have so perfect uh, uh, conditions to live in. Do you like that? Yeah, that's decent. And yeah, decent, decent. I like it. But instead of this, let's do it upside down. You know. Because it looks better. There we are. And then we could, of course, cover this up if you wanted to. And what else could you do to cover this up? I don't know if you can do that, anything really. I think I'm adding. I was thinking about adding some carpet, but uh, you know, it's not going to do very much. And you know, just a bit of water here. Uh, let's get some cobblestone in there. So be like covering up the water. Also there, why not? And what else? We would need that. And coarse dirt mix. I like that. Uh, let's cover that up. And some more coarse dirt right about there. That would do nicely. Hmm. How about just doing that? I need dirt here and one cost it there. That looks decent. And let's add some fence. Yeah, oak fence. Let's try that. On for size and then a gate. Right about here. So, you know. The animals won't destroy all the crops. Let me get a hoe. I believe that's what they they're called. What's this? Is cost cost dirt? Oh, is it? Oh, it's like farmland. Let me check check that. No, it's not a hoe. This is a shovel. So I'm clicking like. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, sorry. Ah. Oh, there we are. Not really gotten used to this um, texture pack yet. Uh, I don't know about this part. Should we just uh, grab some wall and do that there? This thing remove that. This we could keep like that. And yeah, that's gonna be decent. Perhaps we'll need to add some more water though. <laughs> and then I'm thinking perhaps add some cobblestone beneath the wall that outlines this. Let's get some seed. I don't think things I don't think things grow on this server. So if you're on a server where things doesn't grow because you know lag and stuff. I got malware apparently. Yeah, I think I'm downloading Far Cry 4 for free and something else for free, Skyrim for free. And I'm to to figure out if it's possible and stuff. So I want to do a tutorial on how to get those things for free. Let's get some bone meal. And if I'm going to fast, just uh, pause the video. Damn it. You know, just do it a bit randomly if you're in a server where things doesn't grow because you know, it looks better if things uh, something is grown and something isn't. Yeah, just about that. And something also like half height. It's like click once on some of them. Like this. I don't remember to like get the corners too. But it must be random, of course. There we are. And I think I'm gonna do a windmill too. I don't know if the Vikings have that, but you know. <laughs> but 
than somewhere else in this medieval build. Let's remove that. Let's get some normal dirt right there. Like our Altrance. <laughs> Altrance, jeez. Right, and in here, where's the, uh, where did I put that thing? I would put it here. There. Just like the stair there, so three blocks from the vin window there. One, two, three, here. Here we are. So let's get a wall. Uh, furnace. And a. Yeah, we got these slabs. So no worries there. Let's get a wall there. Some things here. And destroy that. So, you know, now we got a little. Little something. And you can, of course, add you know, a few more furnaces around here. Just to give it more detail or something. I don't know. I think this looks decent. Perhaps just do like this. Sorry if it's getting dark. I'll just change it to day in a second. Ah. I hate swelling. Ah, there we are. And we could get some torches in here. I would use these uh, in this texture pack. Uh, texture pack download will be in the description if you want it. That overdid the torches a bit there, but you know, it's okay, it's okay, not good. And we could add a table, kind of want to do a lot here because this is a big house. And stair, let's see, here's a stone, bricks there. We're not re really using that much uh, variation. Well, I think we need that. Hmm. What else can we add? Could we add some carpet? Yeah, you know, for little areas, either white carpet, or brown carpet, or grey carpet. You know, for this sleeping area, we could do something like right about there. Do something like that. So you know, there's some texture packs where it looks like bare skin. Let's keep the carpet away from the furnaces for now. This is decent. Could take that away. Yeah, no. Decent, decent. Uh, perhaps just take some wall instead. Grey wall here. Add that here. Like so. That's also decent. And for our entrance area, I want to have a little carpet here. And not too close to the door, not too close to the furnace. How about right about here? I want to give it sort of a shape. I like doing that with carpet. And that's decent. And over here, we can add a bit of this. Variation, variation, always. I don't know what more to add, really. How about I just leave it up to you guys to decide? I kind of like this. I don't know what more there is to add. Perhaps an entrance way. Let's get some. How about andesite? And polished andesite and cobblestone and coarse dirt. What else? Gravel. Could we use some gravel? You can, of course, just use gravel if you know you want to. So let's use that there, 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 and there, 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 and there, there, and there. There, 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 and what else? I feel like I'm overdoing it a bit right here. Perhaps we should also have some grass, actually. Um, I love variation; it's so good. So much polished understate. Perhaps this understate just. I don't have any of this in yet, actually. Or do I? Right here. 
There we are. And for the entrance, we could put like gravel. There's some more gravel there. There, there, there. Let's just make like fade out here with different types of block. I'll replace the gravel with some other types of blocks over here as well. You know, just about like so. Oops, you can see. Cost that, cost that, cost that. You know, because it's sort of. Let's put grass there instead. And here and here. That's better. And some andesite, andesite. Cobblestone, cobblestone. Polished andesite. Cost it. There we are. Well, this looks very over detailed. You know, you can do it how, however you want. I think I did it just a little bit. But, uh, ooh, what else to add? We could add some fence. And some torches on top of those fences. Oh, I did something wrong right there. Mm, what else to add? Could I add a fence here. Oh, that looks dirt. How about some stairs? Yes, stone bricks there. So you can also use cobblestone. Uh, I like doing this on many builds for like support beams, you know, so the house just doesn't doesn't just fall down or something. Just put that on top of there. There, and then a slab put on top of that. Gives it a nice little shape. Hmm. I like it, like it. That sounded very wrong. Oh, yeah, we gotta remove this because, you know, just because. Uh, let's get some grass. I don't think we did that on the other side. And a slab here, and yeah, so there we are. And we did that on the other side. Yeah, let's just do it then that way. And we will probably need a support beam of sorts. So hmm, I'm thinking either wall or I'll need to cover this up as well. You know, I may have done some small mistakes about this around different places. Just cover that up. That would be very kind of you. Can't really see that, can you? Could of course just remove that single grass block, no one would, would really notice. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. What else? Yes, the support beams. That's what, what I was talking about. I really need to cover this up as well. Oh god. Bit up there. Now it's becoming a bit too long, you know. When looking at the picture, oh, this one's still longer. Yeah. Perhaps we should just do like this instead. Yeah, no, let's do that. Get some wood for support beams. What else? I don't want to over detail it. It's something I tend to do. You know, as you see, I've used a lot of stairs. But I really feel like there's something missing, don't you? Paintings, of course. <laughs> yeah, let's have some paintings in here. Just, uh, you know. Oh, how about that? That's pretty Viking ish. That's also pretty Viking ish. Hey, we could add one of those on the door. It was that, that's only if you got this texture pack. Oh, and then we'll need to 
take the door out here instead. Come on. Where is it? I want the little dock. There we are. That's pretty good. You know, you could add that on, that on like a big hall or something. Hey, it's still there. Oh, it's invisible. Oh my. My, my. Fantastic. You could of course spawn a horse or a pig, or two pigs in here, a chicken or whatever. What else to add? We could add a sink. Oh, a well. Let's add a little well out here. Uh, how do you make a well? I forget. I think just uh, taking some stairs like this, these, these, and like these, of course. Hmm. No, it's gotta be three by three, actually. Hmm. I like it, like it. <laughs> Alright, there we are. And let's get some fences. And we'll need to have a bucket here somewhere, which will be a hopper or something. And we need something to hang it from. Perhaps just like that. And then out here. Here. Yeah, Right, my sound, my voice sounds like a. Um, what's what's the oh, those things quite you know boing. A no, not a feather. Uh, well, we call it a feather in Denmark. Pretty co close to a, fe a feather, but you know, whatever those things are called. <laughs> and perhaps we should take it down once more to do like that. And just break out a bit here. Make it four deep. I think that's about how deep it has to be. And on this side, what I like to do in my wells is this. So this is going to take a while. I'll try to hurry as much as I can. I kind of started to be a pretty fast builder. Once I didn't compliment myself, I don't know. Probably many that are faster than me, but I think I've gotten pretty fast at it. Uh, this is supposed to be added. Ah. And I'm really looking forward to doing some videos with Mimi Periwinkle and uh, let me see trap. Dang it! Oh no, it's not chat. That's supposed to be it. Trapdoor. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing some videos with Mimi Perry Winkle and Cap Crimson. We can do a lot of mini games in uh, Mindflex and yeah, Mindflex mainly, I think. And the cauldron. That actually looks like a bucket of sorts. Sadly, it doesn't look like a, looks like a picnic bucket more. I'd say. In there, there we are. Nice and still water. Perhaps we should take the water one down. Actually, oh, it's gravel. Dang it. Love Super Mario. Over here. Then we could take some. Am I missing something? We have the middle here. There we are. And then we could take some cobblestone here and just add a bit normal here because you know the water reaches only down there about. So you know, a little mixture there. What you could do is of course add stairs or just a normal block there. I'll just keep it like that. Hmm, what about this? Perhaps take some slabs right here to. Oh, a stair. 
one of these stairs, add it here, and then go there, here, there, and here, there, here, and there. So that's that's pretty amazing. Could of course do this for a little overhang. If you absolutely want to. I love detailing stuff. This might be over detailing, but I don't know. I love it. Could do this for you know, the little twist. Twist and rip. Oh yeah, that's another thing. I am going to do a video. Oh, well, what video am I going to do? Then I can't do this, that, that, and then what do I have to do to make it like that? Hmm. Do I have to do this? No. How is this supposed to be placed again? Like that? No. I can't figure that out. So let's just not do that. Let's just do normal stairs. Could of course just do that instead of the trapdoor. I just like the detail. I hadn't really planned to do like a little well. You know, it's more if you're doing a city of it or something. If you just want to add detail, um, could add some wall. Eh, not there. Could add some there, or just you know a trapdoor. That's also fine. Fine with me. Hmm. Yeah, I I don't I don't know what more to add. <laughs> I'm kind of just running around here. What could we add? We could add no, not very Viking-ish, but uh, of course. Bone meal and or yeah trees. Let's get some trees, of course. Oak and bone meal. Just first add a bit of bone meal there and there, and let's get a tree here. And this is a trick I've seen many places. They do like this, and then you will get a, a large tree. Just have to keep bone mealing pretty much, and it should. There we are. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful tree. That's really beautiful. I love the leaves in this texture pack. Alright. That's actually pretty great. Uh, the leaves are fixed now. Before they had such a weird twist in them. There's that one here as well. You can put them wherever you want. I just put them here. For now. That didn't become very big. But you know, it has the shape. It has a nice little shape there. Uh, let's try getting a big one just about here. Here. Yeah, I, I was going to talk talk about something before. Uh, I'm gonna get the uh, dreadlocks, and so I thought, um, you know, as I'm doing YouTube, I thought, why not do a timeline thing uh, where I like uh, do. Oh, I have to go one further up, don't I? I think I do. I'm not sure. But, yeah. Um, where I will talk, like, every month about my experience with it and talk about it and, you know, just be happy about it. And perhaps help out some people who are struggling to, for example, I don't know, I've seen a lot of stuff about it on YouTube, uh, how to watch them, how to get them and you know uh, which methods are, how big they should be and uh, myths about it and stuff that one got a bit weird but you know it's fine with a small tree every now and then why not potentially harmful software detected all right I think I'm not supposed to use wood that's why they're becoming small so let's not use wood I know just because we are in the Viking Age, let's add a, a dark oak sapling. So 
So we have that. I don't know if we can do this with those. I don't think we can, but you know, I'm just trying. Plus, they look so good when you do this. I remove the bone meal. And what you can do with trees is um, you can, of course, add vines and uh, less leaves. I don't think this will do much, but perhaps it will do something. Vines and other types of leaves. And for example, I'm doing a dark oak oak leaf uh, tree here. If I, for example, were to add some, let's see, leaves, some oak leaves. I think it is oak leaves, though. Jungle leaves and birch leaves. Let's just add that in here. Jungle leaf there, some there, bit here, some there. You know, just a bit of variation. I know while you're doing this, you're making the tree look so much better because you know, see that shape there went gone. And I could do like that, for example, but I wanted to, you know, just uh, be very random about it. Perhaps not that one, but you know, just uh, don't really think about it. And you will make the tree look a lot better. Some vines here. The vines won't grow on this server, but you know, vines on these trees. Uh, looks pretty good. Let's do that. And you do it like that. Looks pretty good. So yeah. And these ones, if you add, you can of course go in and add more uh, uh, it, of these things going out. I don't know what they're called in English again. Sorry about that. But yeah, I'm sorry if this has been a long tutorial. Uh, I kind of just kept talking. And, you know, it's a let's build. It's not a tutorial. So yeah, <laughs> if you would like me to do a tutorial on it, uh, comment down below uh, and give it a thumbs up if you like the build. Oh, that's a big painting right there. Huh. Pretty Vikingish with that round thing right there. And we could do, you know what? Uh, let's. Just want to add one more thing here. Uh, how about if we put here? I want to get the knives. There we are. And then we can add some polished andesite on the table and a hopper. Or you know, a little um, flush. You know, I know it's medieval ages, but still, I mean, there's perhaps a cauldron instead. Just you know, so you can have water, and you know you can get it out there, and a pressure plate perhaps. You know, if you want to cut something up, pressure plates look up in this texture pack, but you know, it's all right. It's all right. Uh, yeah, you know. Yeah, for the roof, I wanted to get some slabs, jungle wood slabs, and add them in here. Just randomly adding some to so give it a bit more variation. This is getting to look pretty dope right now because it's all connected, but uh, you know, it's all good. All is good with the Lord. Hmm, I covered up all the cost dirt right there, you know. Should rather be random, that's more what I was thinking, but you know, I'm kind of connecting them and it looks decent as well. Looking a bit too symmetrical for my taste, but you know, I don't really want to spend much time on this. It's like that looks like a path on the roof. Oh god, it's because I already placed the, place the grass, so yeah. I just want to get this over with pretty quickly. But you know, add some everywhere like that. I know, even if they're connected at the end, if you just keep adding more. And then finally connect it at like the corners or something, it will look alright. And under the carpet, you can add glowstone. Let's just add some here and some carpet. There we are. So now we got some light and you know, if you don't want the torches, you can do that. But I hope you have enjoyed 
this little let's build. I think I'm gonna finish it here actually. So this is my final version of a of a, where is it? Oh sorry. This build right here. I don't know, in here there is some tools, but I think it is some people who have put something in here for like maintaining the house in the uh, modern ages, you know, I don't think this was probably used for like wood or something, you could do that, just place some wood in there, but I don't think it looks good in Minecraft uh, some planks and stuff it's like burn, I think but uh, yeah sorry again I hope you have indeed enjoyed this tutorial oh look at the carpet right there <laughs> This has been me, Lord Varys, and let me just take my armor off so you can identify me as Jack Sparrow, indeed. And I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial on my little Viking house here. Uh, have a good day, love, peace, subscribe, yada yada yada. Bye!